اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میڈیشن انالیسس ان دس سیشن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لک ان ٹو ہاؤ ٹو پرفارم اے مور ڈیٹیلڈ اینڈ کمپریہنسو میڈیشن انالیسس ان اسمارٹ پی ایل ایس فور Now this is the proposed model in our series. Now this is the model that we are we, we have been testing right from the start. Now in this model we've got different mediators. We've got organizational support, commitment and culture as mediators and the higher order construct internal service quality which is reflective reflective is a mediator as well. Now before I move on and assess the mediation using Smart PLS 4, I'm just going to quickly review the hypothesis proposed to assess mediation. So these are uh, the mediation hypothesis, organizational support, mediates the relationship between internal marketing and organizational performance, organizational commitment mediates the relationship between internal marketing and organizational performance, organizational culture mediates the relationship between internal marketing and organizational performance and finally internal service quality mediates the relationship between internal marketing and organizational performance now if you look here first you mention your mediator here yeah. mediator mediator mediate and what it does is it mediates and it mediates the relationship between your iv and your dv The same is the case with all these mediation hypotheses. So in order to propose mediation hypothesis, you have to first look into your mediator and then the relationship it mediates. Now that we have proposed the mediation, I'm going to quickly review the steps, the procedure. Although the concept of mediation and this procedure in detail has been discussed in one of the earlier videos i'll share the link in the description so the first thing you look at the indirect effect and if the indirect effect is significant then we assess whether it's full mediation complementary mediation competitive mediation and otherwise it is no mediation obviously and then we assess the direct effect or no effect so the first step is p1 p2 significant now what do we mean by p1 and p2 here p1 is path 1 p2 is path 2 that is path from iv to mv and path from mv to dv that is your indirect effect so if you if you multiply both of these paths you get your indirect effect so where is it in your model here let's have a look now if you come here this is your let's say this is p1 that is the path from internal marketing to organizational support and this is your p2 that is the path from your mediator to your dependent variable here so if you multiply both these paths that is p1 into p2 you get your indirect effect this indirect effect is actually your mediation that is whether or not the impact of internal marketing on organizational pass performance is passing through organizational support now similarly you can have these ones as well you can label it, label it like in any way let's say i need label it p3 and then i label it this one as p4 so let's label this one as p5 and p6 so the indirect effect of im on op through culture is p5 multiplied by p6 from commitment it would be p3 into p4 from organizational support is p1 into p2 from internal service quality let's say p7 p8 so from internal service quality it would be p7 into p8 now this is your indirect effect if you multiply both these paths you will get your indirect effect now whether these paths are significant we do not need to calculate it because a smart pls will give it to us now once you have found the indirect effect so whether it was significant or insignificant now in this case we've got multiple mediators so in smart pls we are going to look into specific indirect effects 
Is this significant? The next step is P3. Now what is P3 here? P3, in this case, uh, although I've changed the label, so let's, let's name it P0. So this P0 is the direct effect of IM on OP. In the diagram here, in this procedure, it is P3. So since I've already named or P3, this path has been named as P3, so I cannot repeat it. So this here, P3 signifies the direct relationship. So if your indirect effect is significant, that is this effect here, if this is significant, you come down to this step. And here you assess the direct effect. Now by direct effect, I mean the effect of IV on the DV in presence of the mediators. And in this case, we've got four mediators. So in presence of the mediator, the impact of IV on DV is your direct effect. Now, if your direct effect is significant, it's called partial mediation here. And this partial mediation can be complementary or competitive. If your direct effect is insignificant, that is the effect of IV here, that is the effect of internal marketing on organizational performance in presence of the mediators, if this effect is insignificant, that is no, then you've got full mediation. That is the effect of internal marketing on organizational performance is completely wholly passing through these variables. Now let's have a look and explain how do we assess mediation using smart PLS. So we are going to come back to this procedure again. So how do we do it in smart PLS? Now here is this model in smart PLS and what we need to do is we need to go to calculate bootstrapping 5000. Let's do complete one percentile bootstrap all good one tailed yes. Make sure path is selected. Let's start. Now here are our results. The first step is we have to look into the indirect effect. Now, previously in the, in one of the last sessions, we assessed the structural relationship that is the impact of IM on OP. Now, this particular session, we are looking at the mediation. We are not just looking at individual relationships between two variables. In this case, we are focusing on mediation. In the coming session, we are going to focus on moderation as well. Now, where are my results? Let's go to report. And let's look at specific indirect effects. The first step, specific indirect effects. Now, if you look here, IM, ISQ, OP. This mediation here is significant. This here is significant. This shows that ISQ mediates the relationship between IM and OP. That is the impact of IM on OP is passing through this third variable, internal service quality. Apart from this relationship here, IM, POS and OP, all the three other mediations are significant. So this shows that yes, there is an impact. That is, there is an indirect impact of IM on OP through ISQ. Now moving on, once we know that yes, there is an indirect effect, what's the next step? Now that we know that the indirect effect is significant, is P3, that is your direct relationship, Internal marketing to organizational performance. Is this significant? Let's have a look. Where is your direct effect? Here it is. And the direct effect is between IM and OP. Here it is. IM is your independent variable. OP is your dependent variable. Is it significant? Yes. Now your indirect effect. Is it significant? Well, your direct effect is significant as well. So yes and yes. Now here, P1, P2, P3. This P1, P2, P3. In this case, P1, let's take one example for now. Let's take IM, ISQ and OP. Let's take this one. This is P1. This is P2. And let's say this is P3. So if you come back here, P3, P1, P2 significant, indirect effect significant, yes. P3 significant, yes. Is P1, P2, P3? If you multiply P1, P2 and P3, is it significant? If you multiply these three, 
do you get a positive output? That is, what are you multiplying here? What is P1? IM to ISQ. This is P1. 0 0.680. So let's say, and there is a positive sign with it. So 0 0.680 multiplied by, what is P2? ISQ to OP. ISQ to OP. Where is it? 0 0.245 0 0.245 and that's multiplied by P3 where is your P3 IM to OP is your P3 let's see IM to OP 0 0.552 is it significant yes it is significant 0 0.552 now is there a negative sign here in any one of them no there is no negative sign here so this means you've got complementary partial mediation. Why am I saying partial mediation? Because your direct effect and your indirect effect both are significant. Now and the results are positive so this is complementary partial mediation. So when your direct effect that is the effect from IV to dependent variable and your indirect effect that is your effect from IV to your MV to your DV these parts and these parts. If your direct effect and your indirect effects are significant, this is partial mediation. Now what if your direct effect, that is the effect of internal marketing and organizational performance in presence of mediator. When I say in presence of mediators, I mean, have a look here. You are mediators in presence of the direct effect, that is the effect of IV on OP. So all of it is examined together. In this case, let's have a look. Is it significant? If it is yes, we have examined this. If it is not significant, IMOP, let's have a look here. IMOP, let's assume this is insignificant for now, just for the sake of understanding, this is insignificant. So if that is the case, this is full mediation. That is the all the impact. Full mediation means the impact of internal marketing on OP is actually passing through internal service quality. No impact is passing through this particular path here. This is your full mediation. And if the indirect effect is insignificant, obviously there is no mediation. And then you check for your direct effect. So in this case, let's assume if this would have been insignificant, the example that we took, Let's say this is greater than 0 0.05. So this is insignificant. So if it if it is insignificant, insignificant, well, it is not significant. So it's insignificant. Is P3 significant? That is direct relationship. Yes, it is significant. So there is no mediation. There is just direct effect. That is the impact of IM on OP is direct. There is no mediation involved. There is no indirect effect. The effect is not passing, passing through another variable. And even if that is insignificant, that is your direct res relationship, then there is no effect, no mediation whatsoever. I hope this session would have clarified how to perform mediation analysis in Smart PLS4. Thank you very much.